Hey guys, I'm back once again. This time we're going to take a look at um, one of the tools in my arsenal, so to speak. And what I have in front of me is uh, a Badger airbrush, the SOTAR 2020. Now this is supposed to be our top of the line uh, detail airbrush. And uh, it's certainly a pretty unique product. I've used it a handful of times, uh, never really seriously on a model because I've had, I have not had to do anything to this level of detail yet but uh, I'm sure I will get there. But, um, so the SOTAR 2020, as I said, is supposed to be the, the premium of their line. Now this one is set up with the fine needle, which is, uh, if I am not mistaken, a 0.21 millimeter needle nozzle combination, but it's pretty unique. Um, now I bought this on an amazon.com holiday promotion back in November, and I think I paid about $69 for it. Um, that's an incredible deal. This airbrush now goes for anywhere from 180 to 200 US dollars um, because you know they do market it at their top of the line. My only complaints really with this thing is the somewhat sparse packaging. Maybe that was part of the uh, holiday promotion. But let's uh, let's take a look at uh, what we have here. So, so first off, instead of being shiny chrome like most airbrushes are. It is uh, anodized uh, black aluminum, uh, but does have a nice weight to it. It is it's fairly light, but it's not real heavy. I do like the machined aluminum cap. It uh, slides right off. I hope I never lose that. But uh, it did come with a number of accessories. It comes with a spare needle, uh, a wrench for removing uh, the nozzle up front, a small Allen wrench for making an adjustment back here, which I will get to uh, momentarily. And it comes with a crown cap uh, to get in close and do super fine detail work. So as you can imagine, with a 0.21 millimeter uh, needle nozzle combination, it's gonna be a very fine detail brush. Now I installed like I do on all of my airbrushes. I installed this uh, quick release adapter. It has a 1 12th ounce uh, pay cup as you can see, that's very small. Uh, I will say this, the few times that I have used this airbrush, it is very, very miserly on paint. In other words, it uses very little paint. Um, it is uh, very simple to break down. The needle comes out. Uh, you're actually supposed to store it with the needle retracted slightly to protect it uh, up front. So you sort it like that and then turn the chuck down. But uh, really nice uh, airbrush. Uh, this little plastic grip here is pretty handy. Gives it a, a nice feel and it is a pretty smooth uh, double action design. As with most badgers, you can make an adjustment on the trigger tension, make it looser or stiff. I can't, it comes to set up uh, you know, maximum resistance. Uh, it is capable of fine detail work, as I have mentioned. The, one of the things that I really like about this brush, I'm gonna zoom in for you is this micrometer adjustable paint limiter. Uh, it doesn't have click adjustments, it's not that fine. It's not like the Harder and Steenbeck. Of course, she has now Badger is a US company. Uh, there's the Allen head screw. The, it comes with a little tiny Allen head wrench, which is right here, that would allow you to lock down the setting. So if you had a, you know, a setting like, for example, if I was gonna do Luftwaffe modeling camo, with this brush, and I found the, you know, where the sweet spot of the needle was, so to speak, on uh, to get the effect that I wanted, and I wanted to, to duplicate that over and over again. I could lock that screw down, and you'll notice if you can see that right there, the little diamond shape of the line. That's that's your indicator uh, showing you uh, where you you know where you can use these numbers if you're trying to make your setting repeatable. But. Uh, I think the next thing I want to do is uh, let's put a little paint in it and um, I will show you uh, what it can do and you guys in the comment section can tell me what you think. Uh, there's a, of course the made in the USA markings. I like that. I'm not married to American made products even though I am American. I drive a, a Korean car so but um, let's, uh, let's give this thing a run. Uh, I've got my compressor already turned on. I'm sure you've already heard that and uh, I've got some Viejo model air paint ready to go. We're going to spray it unthinned. Uh, I've got a piece of white box I'm going to use and uh, we'll take a look at the uh, level of detail that we can get with this thing. 
All right, I'm gonna set it up, I'll be right back. All right, here we go guys, I'm back once again. So I put about uh, 10 or 12 drops of paint in the cup. Once again, I'm using this uh, Viejo Model Air German Gray or RLM 66. It's the same thing as Panzer Gray. And now uh, let's make sure we're spraying here. Yep, looks like we're good to go. So uh, what can we get in broad coverage? So if I pull the trigger back, I may have the pressure set a little thin, but of course we can tell with this uh, needle and nozzle, nozzle combination, it doesn't throw out a lot of paint. So what kind of detail are we talking about? So if I get nice and close to this, if you guys can see this or not. That's impressive. And I have not had a lot of practice doing this. Now if I pull, I had the needle. I'm going to adjust this back out a little more. See I, there we go, I throw some more paint. So you can get pretty reasonable coverage with it. With some really crazy fine detail line work. And that's pretty thin. I mean that's... That's pencil line, I think. I'm pretty impressed with that. Of course, even model air is a little on the thick side, so I'm gonna spray here. Even if I pull the trigger back, it still keeps, uh, the line becomes a little darker but it still keeps really pretty nice detail. Not a lot of overspray either. Of course you wouldn't think you would expect that from a nice detail airbrush like this. Just making squiggly lines here. But uh, I don't know. Um, look at that. That's pencil line if I've ever seen it. So all in all capable of really fine detail work. It does fit and feel um, pretty nice in the hand. It's a little different than some of the other brushes I've got. It's certainly shorter in length, but uh, certainly simple enough to use. And it's uh, very, uh, very efficient when it comes to paint use. I'm just curious if I back this screw out all the way. How much paint will it hold it down? Doesn't put out a lot of paint. Uh, well, it wouldn't with this needle and nozzle combination. Now, Bazer is um, certainly kind enough to us. The needles they use are color coded. Black being the fine. I don't remember, I think white is the medium and then red is the large. But even with the needle, all the way out. It'll do pretty nice detail work. I realize this is unthin model air. You know, but it does a really a pretty nice job. It's certainly a finer detail brush than most of the brushes I've used so far. But uh, guys, if you're I think if you're patient and you like this airbrush, you like this design and this setup. I think if you're patient uh, and you wait till the holiday season or when there's a big holiday, I think you can probably find a pretty good deal on one of these. You know, I don't know, maybe I stumbled into, stumbled into a one-time deal, but I noticed that I saw you know several of the guys on Amazon talking about how they'd gotten a really good deal on theirs. Um, you know, I think maybe you, you could, so you just gotta be patient. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the look at this uh, very nice tool. This, Badger Sotar 2020 Fine Detail Brush. And uh, thank you for watching and supporting my channel again. Everyone have a good evening. Take care. Bye-bye.